What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. Today we're going to be going over practice one for our Chem 118C midterm exam number one. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into some problems. I have about eight practice reactions and I have three synthesis problems at the end. So make sure you work through these problems, give them a try, and pause the video, unpause it, and we'll talk through it together. So for this first problem, we should be able to recognize the reagents that are given. So I see that we have some Br2, NaOH, and some heat. So this is a key giveaway that we're working with the Hoffman rearrangement. So key points for Hoffman rearrangement, really you wanna find your carbonyl, and you know that we're gonna be getting rid of our carbonyl. So that's a key giveaway. There's a whole mechanism for it. I'm not gonna go through this video, but know that the carbonyl is basically going to be kicked out and this entire, this end group is gonna be shifted over into the place of the carbonyl. Another key point for Hoffman rearrangement is for my stereo chem, it's going to be maintained. So I'm not going to lose this coming out of the board action we have here. So my final answer should maintain that stereochem. And then my NH2 group simply moves over. So that's a fun little fact. Uh, also make sure that our amide when we start has to be a primary amide. We need both of those hydrogens to be able to go through this mechanism. Let's go ahead and jump over to number two. So I see that we start with an amide and I have some OH minus and some heat. That's a key giveaway that we're just simply doing hydrolysis of an amide. I could have also done H3O plus in heat. So for this problem, all we have to do is do hydrolysis. So we'd expect to see this initially, but then we know our N group is gonna be kicked out as such, and it's going to deprotonate our carboxylic acid. This is our final answer. Let's go ahead and move on to number three. Here we have dibol. So dibol, everyone should know, looks like aluminum, and we have these carbons coming off of our aluminum. We have two of them, and the key fact is that we have a hydrogen coming off of this aluminum. This is the hydrogen. So when you see dibol, you should be thinking H donor, and simply this H wants to go over here. So this will get kicked up, and eventually we're going to get, we're basically gonna be kicking out this group initially and adding a new H, and then our lone pair from our nitrogen is gonna be doing that kicking out of the leaving group. So here's my leaving group. So I'm gonna have a nice hydrogen here, double bonded to an N, H like this. So this is a nice intermediate. And then because we have H3O plus, I can go through hydrolysis of this nitrogen group. So we basically have some water coming in here and in that spot, and this nitrogen is gonna eventually be kicked out completely. So I only have one source of O. So here's the carbon with a O, and here's that H. So that's what we should expect anytime we're working with dibol. You should be thinking aldehyde. Let's move on to the next problem, number four. We have a carboxylic acid and we're in acidic conditions. I see that I can go through intramolecular. So I'm gonna come in here. It's gonna form a ring, this is gonna get kicked up, it's gonna come back down, and this OH group is gonna be kicked out as a water group, so it's gonna be OH2+. Plus. So eventually my answer is gonna look like, just like that. So this was the O that attacked, we'll call this OA. Here's OA attached to carbon B, here's carbon B, and this group left as water. That's my oxygen C. All right, let's move on to the next problem. 
So for this problem, we have lithium aluminum hydride, and I see that we're starting with an amide. So we should know when you see lithium aluminum hydride, we're essentially taking that H and we're coming in here, kicking this up, pronating it, kicking it out once more thanks to the nitrogen's lone pair, and then going through that set of reactions again. Essentially, all you gotta worry about is if you see lithium aluminum hydride and you have an amide, we can make an amine. So that's our final product. Notice how this group ends up getting kicked out and is no longer there, is replaced by two new hydrogens. All right, so we went from an amide to an amine. Number six here, I have NaCN. Anytime you see this double bond and another double bond over here, this is one, two, three, four. I see one, four addition. NaCN is perfect for doing one, four addition. It's not too strong of a nucleophile like lithium aluminum hydride would be one, two addition. So I'm gonna take my CN and I'm gonna have it come attack the four spot. We should have our double bond O. It's gonna to tautomerize. I know I'm just going to get a cyanide group here. And then because of the H3O plus, I will go through hydrolysis of the cyanide, which will give me a carboxylic acid.